hello from a remote cabin where we are staying for the next three days. The phone is locked away and yeah, it's three days of no Wi-Fi, no phone, no laptop, just a completely tech-free experience apart from my vlogging camera. Um, and I just want to document some parts of this trip. It is a press trip, they're not asking me to vlog it, but I just thought it'd be nice to share my experience and document how it feels to have real time away from my phone. Um, and yeah, just bring you along for the journey. So we've literally just got here. Jay's just getting a couple of other bits from the car. Um, we've just got the dogs in. They're just making themselves at home. Um, really nice that these are pet friendly as well. And um, yeah, we're just here for the next three days to relax, live the off-grid life and not much else really. There's, there's not much to it. We're just here to be and that is that. That is all. And I'm here for it. I think this bed is one of the reasons that so many people come to Unplugged, like the fact that we're going to open that blind and have this view in the morning is making me so excited. And then even the kitchen, so that's the view from the kitchen window, just incredible. So we're staying in the Unplugged Margot cabin, they actually have quite a few across the UK. And it's not just an off-grid cabin, it's a digital detox experience, so they've got lots of little things in here to make your weekend or whenever you come. Um, they do it in kind of three day blocks to help you really get the full experience, um, basically to make it easier. So for example, just spotted this, I've got a Nokia phone. So we can give this number to family and friends and know that if there is an emergency, like if, you, if you're the kind of person that wouldn't want to switch your phone off because you're scared that, you know, something could happen, you don't have to have that worry because someone can get in contact with you in emergencies, but obviously, you don't have social media or any of the other stuff on this, um, which I just think is great. Like they've thought of everything. Um, so yeah, just really happy to be here. Really grateful. Thank you to Unplugged for having us. As I said, Jay's just getting some bits from the car. So I'm gonna bring all of the other bits in for when he gets back. So I've actually pulled my weight and not just stood here, staring out the window in awe of the view. <laughs> Good morning from our off-grid cabin. Um, I've just put the kettle on. Literally woke up like 10 minutes ago. Jay's just taking the dogs out for a quick walk. Um, I'm having this from Dirty, it's Lion's Mane Powder. So I'm gonna put this in with a coffee. And um, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm probably gonna do a full video on it once I've been trying it for 30 days. I'm only on like day four, but so far really liking it. What's been really interesting this morning that has inspired me to pick up the camera is waking up and not knowing what time it is. Like I've got my Fitbit with me that I wore yesterday, but I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna see how the day feels without knowing time. Um, so yeah, I've got no clue what time it is, but we just woke up naturally. I woke up earlier, but I still felt very tired, but it was light, so I feel like it must've been about five. Um, so I'm hoping, I mean, I fell out to sleep and had a couple of dreams, so I'm guessing it's a little bit later now. And yeah, in the cabin, they've got loads of coffee, they've got coffee beans, so I'm going to grind these down. Oh, Jane, the girl's back. I'm going to grind these down, make some coffee for us both. Um, but yeah, it just feels very nice to be in the countryside. Okay, yeah, it's grand. So I'm adding three teaspoons. Oh, she's so nosy. I wonder if that was three for one cup. We have coffee. Outside. What was it? 
pretty sure that's a pheasant. <laughs> he flew away. Maybe he sensed my presence. Breakfast is served, we haven't got any butter, so it's just bread with beans, an egg and some tomatoes, but that's fine. Yeah, that's right, you just get comfy. <laughs> they love the yoga mat, don't they? We've just found a map. Well, we found it last night, but we've just opened the map. And there's a nice little cafe, or well, like a tea room, that's a 35 minute walk away. So we're gonna go for a little walk there. It's quite a warm day today. And obviously with like the big window and the style of this cabin, it gets quite warm. So we're gonna make the most of the nice weather and get outside We've just put on some sun cream. I've got the dogs with us. So we're just gonna do a 35 minute walk because I mean, I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels like it's around 20 degrees. It's quite warm. So just going to do a short walk, packed up my backpack. Also just seeing what time it was because I put my watch on, like to get my steps as a natural thing. And I was shocked. I didn't think it was going to be that time. Also just seeing there's a pheasant outside blocking the path. So might wait in here a little bit to give him some time to chill. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. We're going to go to a tea room that we've seen because it's a 35 minute walk. So a good amount of time for us and the dogs. It is Saturday afternoon, so it's my second full day without my phone. So I went all Thursday night, all Friday, all of this morning up until this point. And while I've been here, I've been reading a book. Let me grab said book so I can actually tell you what it is. I've known for a while that I do have a bit of an issue with my phone. Um, it's definitely an area of my life where I'm not as mindful. It feels like a compulsion sometimes where I just can't stop picking it up. Um, and it's something that I want to address. And I don't know, I feel like things in life do just happen in certain times when you're ready to do things. And obviously just been to New Zealand. So that was a time where I was without my phone a lot more than I normally would be. And I didn't kind of have the opportunity to just keep picking it up. And I was having a lot of like face-to-face -face interactions with people, which is amazing. This book is also in this unplugged cabin. And I don't know if they have this book in every single cabin across the UK, but I really hope that they do because it's one of the best books I have ever read. And I really think this is going to transform how I utilize especially social media for me it's instagram and tiktok that really do feel like they have a pull over how i spend my time like i'm spending too much time on those apps um the kind of sense of validation i've i've kind of realized that i'm putting content out there maybe not because it feels inspiring for me but because i feel like i have to and also maybe that sense of kind of validation from it and it's just been a massive wake up call. I think having that three week period of not using my phone as much and now the past couple of days, I'm reading this book. So I've read this book um, since being here. It's Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. Um, I'll leave it linked below. I'm gonna buy myself a copy because I feel like I really wanna read this again and just have it at home. But it's been a real eye opener and I'm definitely gonna create more content around digital minimalism, um, the next 30 days I'm basically setting myself a little bit of a challenge based on this book and doing lots of different things with it and I think I mean obviously I create content for Instagram and TikTok so I really need to find a way to make these apps work for me not the other way around where I am just endlessly scrolling and 
making myself not feel great and wasting time on them. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to be thinking about it more uh, kind of tomorrow, the next few days, next few weeks. But I know that cutting down my screen time is something that I massively need to do for my mental health and overall well-being. So that is the plan. And this trip, this stay here has just really confirmed that to me that life feels a lot less anxiety inducing without my phone. And it's something that I do have agency to like have control over. Whereas sometimes I think I felt like I just have to have my phone on me all times. Like, I don't know. I've just got into bad habits with it basically. So. I'm looking forward to implementing some of the things and some of the recommendations in here. What I think I liked most about this book as well is that it really does validate the fact that it is difficult to not use technology. Like technology has been designed in a way to make us stay in the apps for longer. Like that's what they want. And it does have an addictive pull, which is why a lot of us are struggling with it. So yeah, just this book is everything. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, and yeah, it's got me thinking a lot. I've made so many notes. So I forgot to bring my journal with me, um, but I've made, they did have some, let me see some of the notes here. They had some really small pieces of paper. So these are my all of my scribbles from this book because I just wanted to get down so many different things and ideas from it. On that note, I'm gonna make the most of being here. Um, we've got really nice weather, it's really warm. So I'm gonna take my cup of tea, go outside. And I'm also going to read this. This is one of the books that I brought with me, not realising they'd have amazing selection. This is The Science of Yoga um, by William J. Broad. And I'm really enjoying this so far. It's a completely different angle and a different way of looking at things um, to do with yoga. So yeah, really enjoying that. Um, but th just thought I'd do a bit of a longer check-in because I know I haven't been picking up the camera. Another thing to note as well, because I feel like I'm definitely going to get questions about how am I filming. Um, my phone is locked away, but I'm using digital cameras because this day is a PR stay in return for a little bit of content. So I'm just filming a couple of clips and then when I get home, I'll create some reels or some TikToks out of it, um, which to be honest for me now, because I'm so kind of used to doing it as part of my job, it doesn't feel taxing. And I've actually really loved using my camera again and not just relying on my phone. Like I. I kind of got into this mindset that pictures on my phone were good enough and actually I really love that process of setting up my camera, taking pictures on my camera, getting really good quality ones so I'm going to be going back to doing that as well. Um, yeah, just so many things, so many light bulb moments in such a short space of time. for dinner tonight instead of cooking in here um so yeah just getting everything ready nice to only be taking my purse and some poo bags <laughs> they are the only things we need it's literally down the road we are going to drive because we did a bit of walking today with the dog so we think it's probably best to drive today well this evening just to make sure that we're not over exhausting them let's go <laughs> I'll just have one. I don't know whether I've lost footage of our weekend at Unplugged or whether I just didn't film some sort of outro. I'm thinking maybe I didn't film an outro. Um, one thing I did notice actually, I was finding it quite hard to remember to vlog because I just felt so relaxed and like in a non-work mode. It just kept forgetting to kind of cross my mind to document it. And I think because I was having the, the digital detox as well, I felt very detached from all those sorts of things. Um, but, I've been back for nearly a week now. I'm coming into my first weekend post digital detox. I thought I'd finish this video off just by giving like a little bit of a reflection of my experience a week later. I've definitely cut down my screen time, I think by around two hours a day, 
which is just so much time. Um, I have to say I am finding it quite difficult. Um, it's a massive change of habits and I mean it's not difficult in the sense of like it's a real struggle. It's just that I've got so used to kind of having my phone nearby that I'd like sometimes pick it up when boredom comes or I'm wanting to procrastinate and I'm just having to sit with those feelings more which is obviously really good um, but it is interesting. Um, what else? So actually I have deleted Instagram and Facebook off my phone so it's Friday today and I kind of decided from the digital detox that I don't really need to have them on my phone as much as I do. I'm going to have them on my phone Monday to Friday for like uploading content because it is just easier for me to upload. I kind of, I as soon as I got back on the Sunday, I was like, right, I'm going to look at how I can just not have these apps on my phone. But then I was realistic and was like, well, it's part of my job and I do like enjoy them to a certain extent. So I was like, how can I make this work for me? Um, and I, yeah, I think that it's going to work for me by having them on my phone during the week, but then making sure that I do definitely delete them on the weekend just to have that downtime. Um, and also using them a little bit more on my desktop. So when I'm like researching ideas or I'm looking for a particular sound on reels, just putting in lots of little mini boundaries and being more intentional with it. And I do feel like that's working. I think the fact that I've cut it down by like two hours a day probably suggests that it is working. If you're someone that spends a considerable amount of time on your phone or like you're on social media apps or the news or something that's quite stimulating like in that sense on a daily basis, I would really, really recommend having some time away from them. This is coming from someone that also is a consumer in that way. Like I, you know, I have a lot of apps on my phone that I'll go on, a lot of social media things and just having that time away from them is really beneficial and even just time away from your phone like I mean my phone's right there that's why I'm looking there because it's like I'm speaking about it <laughs> but yeah just having that time away really help has helped me realize and remember that there is so much life beyond my phone and I think sometimes and I know that rationally we know that and it seems even ridiculous to have to say it but sometimes when you're like caught in a scrolling hole or you're like reading loads of different news things and you're getting all this information it can just feel very all-consuming and just having time away from my phone and deleting certain apps and being more boundary this week has sorry I think a moth or something just flew into me being more intentional and being more considered with how I've used my phone this week has felt really good and it's almost given me like in part of this vlog I think I mentioned that I sometimes feel a bit out of control and like I'm not using the apps for what I could be using them for and I feel like I'm almost on the verge of like flipping that switch and there has been moments where I've still scrolled and then thought oh I'm back in that old habit again but I'm just allowing myself for that because it's a big habit to break um but I do feel like my kind of mindset on it shifting and it's definitely thanks to going to the cabin and also that book that I mentioned I haven't ordered that yet admittedly I do need to actually order it when I was editing this vlog before I was like I need to make that purchase um as I said I'll leave it linked below but yeah if you're considering a stay at Unplugged I really recommend thank you to Unplugged for having me um I'm definitely going to be doing more things like that in the future. I mean, I'm five days post digital detox, so I can't exactly say that it's completely changed my life. But I do feel like hopefully some of the things that I experienced and learnt while I was there, I can carry through way beyond these next five days and really kind of change my relationship with how I engage and navigate with social media and my phone in general. So yeah, a huge thank you to Unplugged again for having me. It was amazing definitely going to be doing more to limit my phone use and um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.